house on the coast, man. My money's so low, it doesn't know me. It's looking at my face like I'm bossy. I fly around the world because I'm bossy. Hi, I'm Mira Allen with your Manifesting Destiny movie. All right then. All right then. So, welcome. It's been a long time. Um, thank you so much for your patience. For those of you, number one, you know who you are. Um, thank you for waiting so much. And I'm coming to you from Brooklyn. I know you have to say it like that. Um, in New York. And I really want to get into this moon update. So, we are coming to the new moon. Full moon. Thursday, the 15th of August. Depending on where you're around the world. We're on this lead up. We've been through the Lionsgate. What well, was that? The 8th of the 8th, the 8th of August. How did you feel that day? What were you doing? Who are you hanging out with? What clarity did you get? That was just the other day. Have a look about what happened for you on the 8th of August. Please write down and learn what you learnt from that day. Get it in. Be grounded. Speaking of grounded, earth, the element of earth. We're going to play with all the elements. Earth, air, fire, water, and of course ether. But fire, got my little candle going, we had a new moon in Leo, fire. That new moon was on the 31st of July, or the 1st of August, depending on where you were on the planet. Now, Leo, how was your heart? How was your heart feeling? How was your heart feeling a couple of weeks ago? What was around you? What are you attracting? What are you passionate about? Where were you? Were you on a plane? You know, what, what was your heart feeling like? on that 1st or that 31st of July, 1st of August. Tune into that. Then, what is it? We're going to this full moon in Aquarius, the air. As I'm sitting in this hot apartment, it's a bit hot, but I don't want to turn the air conditioning on because I don't want you guys to have the noise. The air, the Aquarius, the vision, the mind, the thinking, the consciousness. You know, where is it that you see yourself going? How do you present yourself to the world? You know, How do you share your intellect how do you think do you overthink how's your negative thinking have you had a stock take of your mind how's your mental health have a look at your heart health physical how's your heart your biggest muscle of your body you're just constantly working on the biggest muscle but the one that works the hardest so how does that heart feel how do you treat it what do you eat you know have a look at these things for the physical level how do you feel about your loved ones around you your closest kin then how do you apply that with your mind, that congruency? I talk about that a lot. The mind, the heart connection, and how do you physically manifest that? So if your heart knows what it wants, you're passionate, you have a desire for it, or you, you feel love in your heart, then you have that. Then do you feel clarity and peace of mind? You know, How does your brain feel? How do you meditate in the morning and put your intentions out there? How are you thinking? How are you feeling? How are you moving? How authentic is it? Will your mind and heart feel congruent? So we have an exercise from New Moon, Leo, that we just had, pass through the Lion's Gate, the infinite, that 8-8 eight, eight date, which is the infinite flow, the infinite flow. How did you feel on that day? Did you feel like you were in, have you been lately been in the infinite flow? It was only what, the day before yesterday? Or well, well, yesterday, depending on where you are. Um, then... We're leading up this crucial, crucial time. This is gonna set us up for 2020. This is a time that's really important. I had to do this video, it was really important for me to share this with you guys. Now, for those of you that understand the law of attraction, a lot of you that watch this show, this channel get it. Um, for those of you that are super logical and you think, oh, this stuff doesn't work, it's all very woo-woo, fine, read up on Bruce Lipton, read up on Dr. Joe Dispenza, um, understand, admit Dr. Amit Goswami, understand the quantum field. We live by the law of attraction every day because we haven't withdrawn from our five senses. What we see, what we listen, what we speak about, what we do, what our actions take, how we're feeling, the energy that we put out there, who the people are that we have around in our surroundings is always going to be a reflection of who you are and what you attract. If you don't like what you're attracting, start to go within, start to think about attracting something new, start to feel it in your in your heart, feel it, and then start to bring it about. So the exercise is, you can pause the video if you want, get a cup of water, water, element, fire, light a candle, get that water fire, take a breath, air, feel your feet, grounded, or bass music, that's helped me, that helps me get grounded, or eat a good, beautiful meal. So get those four elements sorted, your water, your fire, your air, and your grounding. 
When you've got those four elements in your close vicinity, proximity, put your intention. We are 70, 80% liquid water. Put your intention from your heart, from that 1st of August, from that beginning of this month. What was your heart really feeling and intending? Put that intention into your heart, truly, out of there, into your cup of water. This is a physical exercise to help you manifest better. Then feel what that's like for you. Sit with that, breathe with it. What does that intention feel? What does your real heart's desires feel like in that little cup? How does that feel for you? Sit with that. Tune into the element of fire, the passion you have for that. Look and gaze at the, eye, the candle, like, you know, eye gazing, candle gazing. It's, just, it's an ancient art. So just take some time with the fire element, the flame that will link to your core, your motivation, that flame, that Agni inside us. And then breathe in that air, the Aquarius, the mind, the thinking, the thoughts, the consciousness, the vision of what you want. So I invite you guys, after watching this video or pausing this video, be really real with yourself and do this. And when you feel like you're in that vision, you're in that state of being, and you feel like everything's kind of like, it's fun. When you're in that feeling, are you ready? Start to like bring that into your essence. You know, bring that into your vibration. Start to feel refreshed. Are you holding your cup? Are you guys doing this with me? Have you got that energy going into your water? Do you feel your fire? Do you feel that flame? Do you feel that vibration? Do you feel the warmth in your feet and your toes and your feet on the earth? Do you feel grounded in yourself? You love who you are. You know who you are. You have that purpose. Whatever your purpose is this lifetime. It's special. You're here for a reason to create, to contribute to humanity. Put all this into this cup. This is your meditation right here, right now. This is your meditation. Put it into the cup. Hold your cup. Close your eyes. Whatever you got to do. Take in that love. Can you feel it? Let it get bigger. Do this as much as you can toward this full moon. This full moon in Aquarius. Reinvent yourself from that place from within your heart that you know you've always been. You know it. Happy full moon in Aquarius. Namaste.